Hi friends, Pastor Wade here with the uh, Lenten Devotion for Day 27. Our Lenten Devotion uh, continues to come from Bruce Reyes Chow, Chow's book, 40 Days, 40 Prayers, 40 Words. And the word for this 27th day of Lent is power. So on power. I will be reading the scripture passage that Bruce has selected along with his reflection. I'll offer a few thoughts of my own, and then we can close in prayer together. Uh, just remember, thanks for joining us on this Lenten journey. I hope you continue to find this uh, fruitful and insightful and thought-provoking. So our passage for today comes from uh, the book of Isaiah, which, if you know anything about the book of Isaiah in, from the Old Testament, with the exception of Psalm, it's the, it's the longest book in the Old Testament, uh, a book about the prophet Isaiah. Many people think, many scholars think it was uh, three books put together, um, compiled into one title. But it comes from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 13. And the scripture says this, I am God, and also henceforth I am God. There is no one who can deliver from my hand. I work, and who can hinder it? It's a, uh, it's a unique passage. And here's Bruce's reflection on that passage. Hmm. We have a warped and one-sided view of power. It seems we can only understand power these days by engaging in a contest of physical strength, watching competitors rise to the top, or celebrating the destruction of our enemy. God's power lies not in these things, but in how we go about changing the world. Sure, brute force says strength are expressed in God's work, but so is, it also, so is extending healing to the afflicted so that they may find relief, showing love to one's enemy so that they may know God's blessings, and speaking words of insight so that structures of injustice may crumble. I have always felt this skewed view of power has no long-term value. At some point, organizations and individuals find themselves overcome by weakness. There are always people on the horizon who are stronger and faster and will exert their will on those who find themselves in a state of weakness. But graciousness, kindness, and empathy never grow old. Graciousness can disarm one's worst enemy. Kindness can transform the hardest of hearts. Empathy can build unexpected bonds of understanding. Faith and the actions generated from them, gracious kindness and empathy, do not weaken over time, no matter our age, physical strength, or weapon stockpile. At the end of the day, love is the most powerful act of faith that we can wield when we go into the world. Power. Those that have it want more. Those that don't have it often crave it. Those who need it often don't have it. We live in a crazy world, friends. And in this crazy world, too often we see the power that people have economically, socially, um, financially, being used just to further their own purposes. It's a little disappointing sometimes. But what we have to realize is that love has the final say in all of this. It truly does. I think of the... Uh, there's a movie from, I think it's year 2000, called Pay It Forward. Um, where a middle school teacher challenges his class to um, come up with an idea that can change the world. And so one particular uh, member of uh, this teacher's class comes up with the idea of pay it forward, where you do one good thing for one person and then you have to pay it forward not repay it, but pay it forward to three other people. Uh, and you have to do something that they 
they can't do for themselves and they can't repay you for. And uh, if you haven't seen the movie, I encourage you to watch it. Uh, as far as ratings go, I'd give it like a seven out of ten. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit sappy, um, but there's good actors and uh, and a better message behind it. And yes, it's overly idealistic, which a lot of people have problems with nowadays. But think about that concept for a minute, paying it forward. How do you pay it forward? Who do you pay it forward to? When are you going to pay it forward or why? What has happened to you in your life that you want to, would cause you to want to pay it forward? Um, and I think that's overall the, the graciousness, the kindness, the empathy, and the love that Bruce is talking about. They're all exhibited in this movie and the way that those things can change lives is more of a legacy than any bit of power mongering and wielding could ever produce. So live by the law of love. Let love be the ultimate power. And may that inform your graciousness, your kindness, and your empathy towards others. All right, let's close in prayer. God, we have a warped view of your power. We believe power is only about strength. We hope that power is used against our enemies. We claim your power as our own. Help us to reimagine your power. Power is liberation. Power is freedom. Power as creation. Amen. All right, friends. Remember that no matter who you are or where you are on your life and faith journey, God loves you just the way you are. See you soon. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.